Having an amazing trailer for your Roblox game is absolutely crucial. Not only does it let future players know what to expect from your game, but it also starts building either you or your team's presence on a different platform, aka YouTube. And that could lead to a lot and a lot of success. Now guys, in today's video, I wanna show you some fun ways to do some cinematics for your game. And my first tip is actually get out of studio, which is usually where we are on this channel. And we do mostly everything in studio. There's there's a lot of plugins that you can use to make animated cutscenes, but I personally don't exactly love them because I think they take a little bit more time than needed and you don't get the exact shots that you want. So first things first, hop into your game on Roblox the platform and hop out on Studio. I'll show you guys what's next. So first things first, hop into your game on Roblox, guys. If you're new to my channel, uh, I'm working on what I call my the dream game. My the, I tried to say so much at once time right there i'm working on my dream game and the reason i call it that is because this is the first time i've ever made a game where i'm focusing on the passion and not the profit uh i'm a motorcycle stunt rider like when i'm not doing youtube videos and i love it that's just what i love to do man wheelies stunt riding hanging out with bros i'm waiting on roblox to load by the way guys i'm not just stalling it's actually not responding that's that's fantastic. But yeah, guys, stunt riding is my passion. And now I'm trying to bring the Chicago bike life scene to Roblox. So all a cool stunt riding game. And uh, yes, here's what I have so far. As you can see, it's mainly a block out. But if we hop into the game, there's so much better than studio. Just looks wise, this is going to be so nice. Anyways, to make your cinematic trailer, first thing you're going to do is hop into your game and then press shift P on your keyboard, guys. The shift button and the P button and what that's gonna do is make all of your UI go away from the screen and now you can fly around with a very smooth smooth camera this is super nice and I just thought about something I was gonna record clips and make a trailer so you guys could see how it would look but I can't record while I'm recording this video I didn't think this all the way through anyways hop into your game press shift P to get your camera in this as you can see it's a super super smooth camera the problem with with Roblox Studios camera is the longer you hold W or A or S or D, whatever direction you're trying to go, the faster your camera gets. And this, uh, if you jump into your game and just use the Roblox free cam, which is what this is called, your, your camera movement stays very consistent. And even if you try to whip your camera around as fast as you can, you have a very smooth, smooth look. So I'm gonna go around this building, which is the misguided shop once in game right here and once in studio so you guys can see the difference so check this out we're starting and as you can see super super smooth guys ridiculously smooth actually butter so you'll get all your clips like this let me show you guys in studio just so you can see the difference all right so now that we're in studio let's go to the misguided shop i don't know why i'm going that way all right we are now at the shop i believe we started here last time so i'm gonna do the same thing first off we have these selection boxes which is slightly annoying and won't look as good on your clip but we could get rid of those by hovering over here in the corner. And now I'm going to fly around. As you guys can see, I'm already way more choppy when it comes to uh, swiveling around. And I'm also getting way, way faster, as you can see. But that's why I would recommend in-game. If you are super, super serious about studio, you can hold shift while you're flying. And that will keep your speed like here. But it doesn't really fix like the choppiness of like moving the angle of the camera. So free cam is definitely the way to go. So back into the game, shift plus P, you have free cam, you can zoom out with your scroll wheel, and this affects the FOV of the camera. So if you zoom out, you now have like almost a, like a fisheye perspective or like a reverse fisheye. I don't know, a sort of a globe, I guess. And if you zoom in, you now have like a very like, what, what would this be called? I don't know, but you can get some really, really cool angles and make it look like you're affecting the camera you're using to record. Now I think game trailers, it's super important to have them like slightly realistic, but also in game footage. So I think it would be great if we got another person in here doing like a wheelie past the misguided shop. Say they were coming in from this side and I could go right past them like this while they're wheeling past because then we have a very nice cinematic angle plus in-game features. Now, if you wanted, you could go into Blender and pay someone thousands of dollars to fully animate your game. But I 
don't think those really work as well because then people are sort of led into your game under false pretenses. Have you ever seen a Facebook ad where it looked like the game was super cool so you went to download it and the game was nothing like the trailer? That's that's kind of what, what happened. But if you get all in-game clips, it just helps a lot. And if you look at these bigger studios that... If you look at these bigger studios that make game trailers for games, uh, I believe one's called Barrier 4. I know there's a lot of them, but that's the one I'm thinking of right now. And I really hope I'm right. I hope they actually make game trailers and I didn't just sound stupid, but I'm pretty sure they do. Anyways, they get hired for uh, probably a pretty good penny and they use in-game angles. So, you know, it's, it's just the way to go. After you get all your clips kind of recorded, you're gonna need to put them all together. So maybe I'll stop this video and then start. This is gonna get real messy. I'm gonna record some clips. All right, guys, so I just recorded a couple clips. I'm not gonna make a full on trailer, of course, because it's, it's not time. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done, but uh, let's hop in to a program called DaVinci Resolve. This is a 100% free editing program, and it's, uh, it's not sponsored or anything. I'm not making any money. I just wanna show you guys this because I use it to edit all of the videos on this channel. All right, guys, I'm blessed enough to have an ultra wide, but I guess I'm gonna have to kind of squish this down for video purposes. It's gonna look so bad. All right, so here is your full editing suite. Once again, DaVinci Resolve is a free program. You're gonna click this first, these little lines down here, and now we can import our footage. I recorded everything in one clip and then just got separate angles in that clip, and now I'll just have to cut them in the program. So we're gonna find that video. I believe it's this one and just drag it on. We'll click change. And now we have this video. Okay, I don't think this this wasn't the right one. <laughs> there we go, it was this one. So now we have our video here and we'll go through and grab our clips. So if we press the space bar, we can play the video. There we go, it looks like right here is where we're starting. Let's see, okay, right there's where we start. So we're gonna press C on our keyboard and that's gonna cut. I may have changed that. It might be B for you guys. Here's all of the tools right here. So I think it was B before I changed the hotkey, but you're gonna to wanna to press your cut key and then get your angles together. So after we finish this angle, let's say that was enough time. Keep in mind, your things can only be 30 seconds, your game trailer. Of course, this one won't be, but you know. We're gonna grab a couple of different angles. Let's see. We got one right here that looks pretty smooth. Let's scroll through that. There we go. And all we're doing is cutting out the good clips from our recording and putting them all together for now. So let's scroll through. It looks like right here would be another nice shot. Yes, it is. That's good enough for me. And then we have a nice street shot. So let's go ahead, throw that on as well. Looking great. We'll hit a turn. Nice. And we'll stop it. So let's say these are all the clips for our trailer. Now we need a little more energy rather than just some solid drone shots, if you will. Of course, you're going to want music. I'm not going to not going to use any in fear of getting. You know what? We are going to. We're going to use some. I have this folder. Let's see. I'll be back when I find a good song. All right, guys. So so I got a little piece of a song right here called uh, Live in the Moment. And apparently I won't get a copyright strike for playing it. So let me go ahead and show you guys how that sounds. Before any edits, I just grabbed a piece of the song and threw it under. And then this window is your view. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Cove and the cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. All right, now what we want to do is try to sync up the clip transition when it goes from like misguided to a sky view shot, we need to sync those up with either an upbeat or a downbeat in the song. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. That's sort of just listen for it. So right after he says floor, you could switch it because it'd be a new sentence, but just stuff like that. It's just I'm not gonna get into like music theory and all that. That's not what this channel's about, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sync these up real quick. And I only have four clips. So I am gonna have to reuse some shots and like some weird ways. All right, so I just synced it up with uh, sort of each drop. I guess you could say like each time the bass hits, I switched the picture. Uh, we did have a little bit of lag because DaVinci Resolve, uh, it is it is free, but it does lag. And I have a pretty high-end PC. Uh, I've gotten just used to it by now. Uh, once again, I do use this to edit all the videos on this channel. What we're gonna do next is fade out the song just by dragging this little guy back. And we'll go ahead and fade this out as well just by dragging that back. Let's show you guys what we have 
going on, and this is just with cuts. We haven't added any effects, any transitions, any pop-ups with like the game name or anything like that, just with the shots that we got with Freecam and a little song in the back. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace chunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. Okay, so that's how it is with only, we gotta fill this little gap in right here, but that's how good it is with only cuts and linking with a beat. In DaVinci Resolve, uh, we have this video transition tab and we could literally just drag and drop these on. I like to make them quite short and I would recommend not using the same one over and over again. For example, we used Blur Dissolve here. So next time we use it, maybe somewhere over here. Now with video editing of any sorts, the more time you spend on it, uh, the better your product is going to be. This is just a tutorial though, so I'm trying to uh, trying to just make it fast and easy to follow. But all I'm doing is dragging these effects onto the in-between of clips and then making them a lot shorter. So now we have something that looks like this. Okay, so it's actually gonna lag too bad to show you guys. But if we look, I'll just go frame by frame. It starts to blur. And then while that blur is happening, it transitions scenes. That's very cool. But adding transitions helps a lot instead of straight cuts. And then you want to add on other stuff. Of course, you want to demonstrate your gameplay. So if this was a full trailer, I would start off with uh, maybe our logo for the game popping up onto the middle of the screen so they could see what the game name is. And then I would start going to clips, say a guy doing wheelies past an important place in the game and then have like some subtitles pop up do wheelies with your friends you know try to demonstrate the coolest parts of your game in your game trailer and that's that's pretty much how to make a trailer if you guys want to see in davinci resolve real quick uh if you go down to tiles or titles do text plus drag it on and then you can type whatever do uh dank nooners Yep, do dank nooners. And then you can change your fonts. Let's say that one and let's say yellow. And then you can go to your settings and kind of move it or make it bigger, move it however you want. And have those popping up as you're demonstrating what's going on in the game. Upgrade your part. Do wheelies with your friends. Race your friends. <laughs> Play by yourself because you have no friends. But anyways, guys, that is how to make a cool game trailer. And I hope this did help you. One more quick thing that we're gonna add in that doesn't have much to do with game trailers, but it still is the presentation of your game. Your game description. A lot of people link me their games for me to make videos on them, and they literally don't have a description. That is so, so sad. When you make a game description, it should be set up like this. First line, an emoji, the top three things in the game like well i guess one description of the game so emoji uh become the best conquer the world in this rpg world or something like that and then another emoji and then you skip a line and you'll have like a line of three or four so you'll have boom this is an emoji okay, well, pause that's an emoji and then next to it uh let's say a sword emoji fight your friend then a pet emoji like a dog collect pet a map emoji travel the world and then the last one a crown become the best you know have your game description and then a four Four points of the top four things you could do in the game and then under that you could have releases but i do think it's super important to have emojis on everything especially on a platform like roblox this game's been absolutely popping off and it's pretty much what i said they have three under their main description but uh yeah make sure you have some emojis Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If this video did help you guys out, make sure to let me know by dropping a like, dropping a comment, and subscribe to your boy. We're trying to, I don't know, maybe hit like, I don't know what we're at now, but like at least two more than what we're at now, guys. Okay, subscribe. But that is going to wrap it up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Later.